Welcome back to the channel, everyone. We got a lot going on, like usual. We're still farming. Didn't guess that, did you? Today is land roller time, at least some of it. So let's go get that 85 foot Mandaco around. Get, now we got tractors figured out because we, you know, we took the tractor off that, put it on the air drill, then took the tractor off that, put it back, and then put that back on the uh, air drill and then the land roller. Now it's back to the bud that was supposed to be in the first place. So let's get to work on that. But today's video is brought to you by the new and improved Farming Simulator 23 for the Nintendo Switch. As you guys know, I've got a little bit of a history with Farming Simulator, so uh, I'm excited for this one. So we'll talk about that soon. Let's go get to work. Yeah. Welker Farms Alert. Day five. Big Bud operator held hostage again. As you can see, I am now in the 525, five and a quarter bud. Um, the pump came in. You probably saw the video on that. Uh, really is nice having full hydraulic pressure and flow back again. Uh, so I'm heading off at the north west west side of our farm, about a ten mile commute. Um, we're gonna go finish the piece. We have two fields left today. Um, should get it done today, and then we'll transition over to uh, spring wheat. So. But it should be a good day. I'm looking at, I'm, I'm positive uh, because I've got a nice unit that can pull this assembly behind me. All right, land roller is ready to go. I think it's time we head up to the field. But since all that work was pretty tough, I think I'm gonna take a quick break. So uh, looking for something, let's see. Um, oh yeah, there it is. Perfect, right, we need that. And... Oh yeah, I've been waiting for this. Farming Simulator 23 Nintendo Switch Edition. Oh, I don't even have batteries in it. No, but in all seriousness, uh, things have definitely changed since the Game Boy. We're not using the Game Boy. Nintendo Switch. This year, like I said. It's Farming Simulator 23 for the Nintendo Switch. Nice pretty tractor in the front of it. So if you guys know, I've played a little bit of Farming Simulator on and off. Actually, I have to admit, um, i played a lot of video games throughout my life. I still play some now and then. I'm just very busy, so I don't as much. But I was quite the gamer throughout the years. And uh, I really, 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 really wish this existed when I was like 10 years old. I would have played this game all day, every day. It would have been so fun. So let's talk about it. So what is Farming Simulator? It is a video game that does an excellent job of representing farming and about as close as you can get without actually being out there in the dirt doing it. So for those of us got an itch to turn dirt and grow things and take care of livestock, I would say jump in and go because it's amazing what you can do in this game. I mean, between taking care of animals, between cutting down trees and forestry and growing crops and row crops. And I mean, it's just, everything's in there. It's, it's unbelievable. And you get to play it with your buddies. You can, it's not just by yourself. Like you literally can, can sit down and farm together. I mean, I, like I said, I just envision myself as a 10 year old with all my buddies throwing down and playing some games together. And it would just be, oh, I want to go back in time with this. That'd been so fun. And it's got all the brands out there, all the major brands that you guys like. I mean, it's just about everybody in the sun, just about every color of tractor you can imagine is now in this game. So you got a particular color you like, you can run it. And there's over 130 vehicles you can choose from. That's all types of spectrum of equipment. You can take your wheat, turn it into bread and sell it. You can take your eggs from your chickens and sell it. I mean, it's just, it helps with learning how to budget, how to manage inputs and outputs. It's just a really good way at giving an example, a glimpse of what it's like to be out here on the farm doing what we do. And you may not know this, but Welker Farms actually has been in Farming Simulator as a downloadable map made by modders. I don't know if it's available yet on the Farm Simulator 23 since it just came out, but it might someday. So I have to keep an eye out for that. So if you've got kids and you'd like them to learn a thing or two about farming in a family-friendly virtual way, head to the link in the description below and you can pick up a copy of uh, Farming Simulator and let them drive that beautiful Magnum 380 there, half track. They make a Black Knight version of that. I actually sat in that tractor. I haven't driven it, but it should be nice someday. But I could do it in this, maybe. I bet they have it in there. So go ahead, get a copy, and go play. And thanks to uh, Farming Simulator for uh, sponsoring this video. All right, I better get back to the real farming. We'll see you guys there. Let's go. All right, I'm back. Yes, I know it's like the middle of the day and this is where I parked it. Spent the morning getting the land roller, that 85 foot Mandaco. 
set up on the series one big bud because we've got brad the wiggly wagster snake tamer snake bite guy he's here at the farm so i got him set away in that thing so now he's doing some land rolling i'll i'll, I'll come back to that in a little bit here and uh it's pretty sweet watching that a little bud pull that big old roller with that it took a while to get the auto steer figured out that thing get it kind of dialed in so that's where i've been all morning but now that i'm here let's just check the coolant engine oil just make sure we're good start this thing up get it warmed up i got some stuff to do the toolbar and then I'll get to work on this 240 acres over here. Make it happen. Oh, plum full. We are good to good, good, good. So, what we've been doing is just not tightening the radiator cap down all the way. Uh, just leave it just where it just fairly first clicks on latch. And then that way, when it builds a little bit of pressure up, it goes out the top and not out whatever is leak on the side. So far, it seems to be working. That culprit, this toolbar, since we got it, all these boots are fairly wore. And I don't know what happened if the previous owner this drilled out the roll pin holes, but we lose a lot of openers and it's getting expensive. And we really should just spend a bunch of money and replace all the boots and be even more expensive instead of keep losing openers because these are like 120 bucks a pop. So we should spend like a couple grand and replace all the boots. So we save a couple hundred bucks a pop every time we lose. But with all that, I got a roll pin. I welded a bead on it to make it a little wider. I'll pound this in there. I think it'll last a lot longer. Let's keep moving on. Oh, wow. Oh, that's what in the world. Okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that one's definitely been drilled out. I think that one had a bolt in it, actually. I don't have any bolts. This is gonna seem ridiculous, but uh, all I've got in the cab is a bolt, with no nut. We're 10 miles from the farmyard, and we're gonna finish up our piece hopefully today over here. So what I'm thinking, I'm gonna put this on here, put the bolt through, and I'm gonna bend the bolt over. <laughs> oh, let's see how long this lasts. I'm just gonna beat this till it bends over enough so it can't come out, and uh, I'll cut that bolt off when we get back to the farmyard. How about them apples? Well, that one didn't work very good. I just cannot get that to bend over very well. So, I'm just gonna run it, because this boot's shot anyways, and it's on the end, which means it's gonna get in the overlap from the other side when you're seating, so there's gonna be seed in the ground there. So when uh, Leg Arms comes to the truck to fill me up, they'll bring a spare boot. All right, see, that was an easy fix. Uh, that should be in there. Yeah, yeah, that's where that should be. Huh. There's another one. Will this roll pin work on this? Yes, it will. And if I remember correctly, I saw one of these shanks shaking a little bit. I think it's this one right here. It's this one, and this one. And it's this one. Huh. Those don't seem to be shaking any more than normal. Yeah, it was on this side. Oh, there it is. That's it. Even turning it? Oh, it's just spinning in there, really? Tighten this one up. Oh, is that one gonna spin too? I gotta get a crescent. Got it as tight as I can get it. I don't have the proper tools. Those nuts are seized on there, and the heads are spinning in the cast shank uh, housing. So we'll fix that when we get that back to the yard. But for now, it'll just shake a little bit. That's okay. Gotta get the acres done. That's the matter. Acres. Acres. Oh, it's a payday, it's a payday. Oh yeah, it's a payday. Check it out. Look what I spotted. Ugh. Ha ha, brand spanking new. Well, just about, that thing's got about 99% of its life left in it. Won't lose that one. I just gotta find the other 30 some that have come off in the last two years. 10,000 acres, 30 of these spread around. Can't be that big of a job to find. We'll get them. Well, um, we're having some mirrored issues with these engines, both buds, the KTA 19s. I don't know if you can tell, see that smoke? That's not normal. It shouldn't just be bailing out black smoke like that. 
when I'm under, I'm not even under load right now. I'm just running back to the road here to shut down. The other bud is smoking something fierce. So call the mechanic, uh, the one who set the injectors, and he thought that it might be the AFM RC, that's the air fuel ratio control diaphragm. And that's what the engine uses to determine how much fuel per air is being put in the engine. Well, that makes sense for that bud, but why is this bud all of a sudden doing it? And at the same time, within literally an hour of each other. So, I don't know, we're, we're, we're gonna shut them down, we're gonna do some looking, and uh, there could be something else going on, possibly with the ejectors, I don't know. So, um, yeah, we're uh, screeching to a halt at the moment, with farming. We just do not, do not want to ruin engines. These are expensive, parts are not, at, in surplus and uh you lose one and the tractor's done for the season probably oh well, yeah definitely so keep you updated slight change of plans while i'm waiting to see if my tractor can get fixed we've got the mechanic out he's working on the other one i can see smoke right now billowing out of the big bud so uh it must not be fixed yet he just set the injectors again so that must not be the problem which is kind of disheartening because it means there's probably something else more major going on my bud just sitting over here, so we'll see if he decides to head over that one today or not. But I jumped into the sprayer, and I'm knocking out some pre-spray for the weed acres. They're gonna be going in real soon. So uh, headphones, glasses, and an open door because my air conditioner isn't working. I love it. As you can tell, it's smoking pretty bad, and it wasn't as bad as it was earlier. So the guy that came out and also helped us do a little bit of the injector setting because we didn't have the tool, Brian, he came out and rechecked them, made sure everything's good. There's a few that was slightly off, but not significant as a problem. So now we got to do some more investigating to figure out what's going on and why this thing is just puffing out tons of black smoke. We don't want to run it very long like this because it might burn up a piston if we're not careful or do other damage. So anyways, Brian's going to be here, keep looking at it, find out. What's odd is our other tractor is doing the same exact thing. Not as bad, but it's it's having the same symptoms, so we're just baffled. But anyways, Brian will be over here with the truck. We just went down and seat a little bit to see what's, you know, how it's reacting, but it's it hasn't changed, so. Anyways, bummer. The other thing that's really odd about it, as it's idling, it's clean. It's not puking fuel or unburnt fuel out. It's underneath load or high RPM. That pump is just pouring in diesel on the engine. So, I don't know. We'll figure it out. So right now what we're doing is we're checking to see what's the pressure coming off that injection pump to the injector so that way we can kind of get an idea. He's got a book over here or his laptop and they got all sorts of specs on it so he can kind of see what is the operating temperature supposed to be because how this engine runs is it's got mechanical injectors across the board. So the injectors will not fire unless it actually is being pushed with a push rod and opens the injector. So then how do you increase your horsepower well, you got to increase your pressure to those injectors. So that pump down there just spins along. And as you apply the throttle, it just applies more pressure, which when those injectors open, it allows a lot more pressure going out, which is more flow. The engine revs up as you keep going. Well, what's happening right now is it's either a couple things. The injectors that we had rebuilt could be failing and there's a problem with them. And that's kind of what it's looking like. Or some reason there's more pressure and it's just dumping more fuel in there and causing a problem yeah fun all right well um little update the pressure on the injection pump is fine that's not the issue our conclusion that both tractors are having problems the injectors that were rebuilt we feel like the injectors are the issue so both tractors are down you don't want to drive the tractors because you'll probably burn up a piston and it's just not smart and you'll have a lot more problems. So what we're thinking is we have a spare engine in our building. We'll pull the injectors out of it. We'll look at the injectors. And if they look decent enough, we'll have this guy um, put the injectors in and set it. We're going to call around and see if we can locate any injectors around 
and uh, hopefully get enough to make two tractors run so we can see. It's It's been a stressful year so far. Um, it's not been a great start. <laughs> We've had lots of problems and it's frustrating because we're losing time and we should be seeding and we should get it in the ground and we got a lot of acres still to cover. And we only have maybe 200, 250 acres left of peas and then we got all the spring wheat. And uh, at this rate, we're gonna, we're not doing so great. So anyways, that's kind of what we're looking at. We're gonna go dig around in that other engine tonight and then uh, keep you posted. Okay. Hmm. So we know there are six injectors in this engine. One of them is fairly new. The other ones are in there and they were working when this engine was taken out. The old engine that was in that bud. So um, to hopefully save the day and our bacon and this year's seating, we're going to pull the injectors out of this engine, look at them, possibly put some no rings on them throw them in one of those buds and hopefully get a bud going. I feel terrible. I feel like it's my fault that these engines are having problems. Um, I don't know. Try to save possibly a catastrophic failure by putting new injectors and rebuilt injectors in an engine because they were definitely old and needed rebuilt. And then you end up in this situation. So um, let's get to work. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. All right. Injectors are officially, hey dog, officially out of that old engine. Um, do you remember which one was the new injector? You can tell. Oh, it's this one right here with the color all over it. Oh yeah, this, like I said, this one is practically brand new. Has very little time on it, maybe like 200 hours. But the rest of these is kind of unknown. It's hard to say, but we can clean them up and then we might steal the O-rings. You can see this nice shiny orange O-ring right here where my finger is. We'll pull those off the other injectors when we pull them out of that tractor probably and then swap them over to these so they have all new and then uh, have him put these in. And he's got to run the valves again and everything. Uh, it's like the third time. <laughs> 